500 people packed right into a community meeting tonight to address crime and violence in their Oakland neighborhood. KTV's Jana Katsuyama was there. She joins us now live with the details. Jana. Julian, Mike, there was a lot of frustration. There was a lot of despair and anger. People got up and shared stories about being attacked, being robbed, having mentally ill people defecating on their doorsteps. And a lot of these res... What? to being robbed, having mentally ill people defecating on their doorsteps. And a lot of these residents said that they feel like they aren't being heard. City Council member Dan Kolb organized the community meeting at the Oakland Tech High School Auditorium. A crowd of hundreds showed up and lined now up. Now look at this crowd. Look at this crowd. These are people concerned about the community, invested in the community. They care about the future of the community. They're looking for real solutions to the problems in the community. And look at the demographic. And it's plenty of sons here. You know why I know it's plenty of sons in Oakland? Because I went to the gun memorial. And it looks like goddamn Liberia over there if you go to gun memorial. So there's plenty of sons in this fucking community. But the, the town hall is fucking 90% white. Frustrated and angry, sharing their stories. It is one of the most terrifying things that's happened to me in my life. Denise Lillian described being attacked last Monday by young people she thought at first needed help. Attacked by young people. Attacked by young people. Contact truth. Shut up, bitch. Who'd you vote for? This young man. This and young angry, man. Sharing their about it. You know, the, our, our son mayor here said kids do silly things. Yeah, silly rabbit tricks are for kids, man. Their stories. It is one of the most terrifying things that's happened to me in my life. Denise Lillian described being attacked last Monday by young people she thought at first needed help. On the corner of the 45th and Chapter, down on the pavement, punching me, kicking me, dragging me through the street. A business owner. Okay, remember I did the story last week about um, <coughs> the woman getting um, curb stomped, the old mo mobility care, mobility um, scooter carry. Um, There's another white woman who's curb stomped. She's what she's describing is a curb stomping. This is a white woman with white tears. And um, white fragility and all this shit they talk about. She's telling her white, that's the patriarchy that's supposed to come down and lynch them men, that was supposed to get the city bike boys in trouble by saying help, help gets black men in trouble. Well, look at what she's saying, man. She's, she's saying more than help, man. So it's supposed to be 10 lynches tonight. <laughs> right, my, I can people get some and lynch. My my help is she can buy some bear mace. Good luck, bitch. Oh, stop being cows, motherfucker. She thought at first needed help. Make me. Yeah, I'll come up. Where's you at? I'll run up. All right, I'm at the I'm at the bottom of Niagara Falls. How about that? I'm coming Yo, right now, man? motherfucker. I'm gonna swim down hey, there. Hey. You fucking see me. Hey, Yo, yeah. who's that? Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, shut up. Yeah, I'm on the video. Oh no, no, but who's that talking hey. right now? What are you talking hey, about? This bucket. Hey, bucket, me. man. I don't even know you, man. You keep talking over my videos, man. Don't you know that the oh, people I'm sorry, in the chat got fucking video? What? Yeah, but okay, I mean, okay. Did that ever cross your mind though? Even before we telling you, you gotta, you he gotta, you gotta, gotta take the chill out. But but I don't know you, man, and you know you you irritate me, man. If you if, if okay, I know I'm you, sorry. you can irritate me, but you I don't know you and you irritate me, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I understand. Yeah. Stop, man. Well, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah no, I'll stop. shut up. Thank I'll shut up. Man. All right, man. Denise Lillian described being attacked last Monday by young people she thought at first needed help. On the corner of 45th and Chapter, down on the pavement, punching me, kicking me, dragging me through the street. A business owner said he worried about his staff's lives with multiple armed robberies. Uh, my staff has been held at the point four times in six years. Jesus Christ. These white people are going through fucking hell. They keep voting for it. Yeah, and I get that, brown sugar, and I get that. 
However, there's still the reality of what they're going through. I get that they're voting for it. The the it's business owners the though in the hood, I don't I don't think the business owners in the hood, I don't think they're voting for this shit. Also, the also white people in California voted majority for Trump too. So gliders in California are still more right wing. Is that is that so? Is that mm-hmm. a fact? Yes, glide gliders. I had no idea. Um, can you can yeah, you email like, yeah, yeah. Email I gotta look that one up. I, I didn't know that one. Yeah, no, nah, because California's yeah. fucked because of the gliders. No, because of the demographic change. I gotta see that. I have to see that with my own eyes. Please, please. I can tune in live to a gmail.com or put it in the back chat for me. Yeah, I'll put it in the back um, chat. I, I have to see that with my own eyes, man. I, I don't believe that. But um, but yeah, but look at what look at what they're going through. A, a, a senior getting curb stomped in broad daylight in a busy in a busy street. No one helps her. This guy's crew's been robbed four times at gunpoint in six years. It's this is terror. And these are just two stories. Imagine what this whole auditorium stories are like. Imagine what these people, how many stories are in this auditorium. And who's doing it? That that's important. Who is doing this? Yeah, and we all know. It matters, hell yeah, it matters if one group, especially if it's predominantly one group, that, that matters like shit. And then look at this guy, he's sitting there like he really cares. Robberies. Uh, my staff has been out of the ground point four times in six years. Um, the last time that my staff got out of the ground point, Oakland native, uh, military veteran, Black man from Oakland almost got shot and killed. And this father said he wants the city to draw a line and send a message of zero tolerance. We need to stop the violent, the killers. We're coming after y'all. Who wants to live like this? Police say they are going to work on getting more visible patrols through the neighborhoods. And Kalb says he will push for more consequences. If they're committing these violent crimes repeatedly, we can't just say, oh, please don't do this again. We have to catch them and create consequences. And we'll send another uh, uh, email letter to the district attorney um, talking about this very thing. The Oakland Department of Violence Prevention's interim chief and one school board member who was present said the city has had some success with their intervention teams working directly with troubled youth at Oakland schools to steer them away from violence and crime. But the budget does not cover all schools. These are teams of three people and they go out and actually help students who are struggling. We would probably need about six to nine more individuals just to have the three teams at every comprehensive high school in Oakland. And tonight after the meeting, I talked to some people who said they wish that there would be more of these community meetings between residents and city officials. I did just get a message from Dan Kalb. He says that he plans to follow up on many of these issues with the area captain. And he also says he's going to push hard in the budget for uh, continued overtime uh, funding to try and make sure that the police. 